I felt like I wanted to throw up. It was horrible. High school students in Southwest Florida telling Four in Your Corner enough is enough when it comes to food in their lunchroom. Several students in Lee County reaching out to us with pictures of food they say is rotting or undercooked. Hi, I'm Patrick Nolan. And I'm Amy Wegman. They say the quality of their food dropped when the school district began offering free lunches for everyone. And they say they'd gladly pay for their lunches if it means better food for everyone. Four in Your Corner's Lisa Greenberg joining us live from the school that these girls go to. She's got the district's response tonight. Lisa. Well, Patrick and Amy, both girls I talked to asked me to make this perfectly clear. They have no issue with South Fort Myers High School. They love going here. They love being students here. But what they do have an issue with is the food being served in Lee County schools. Pink chicken, just nasty food, just not undercooked and just, it's just nasty. South Fort Myers High School student Chloe Wright describing the sandwich she was eating today, telling me the sight of her friend Evie Chesley's orange chicken made her take a closer look at her own. Evie cut into her food and it was all pink, so while I was eating my chicken sandwich, I finally looked into it and it had like pink lines running through it. It was just bright pink. It was horrible. And Evie tells me it wasn't just a one time thing. It happens pretty much almost every time we get chicken or any other kind of like meat. There's always usually some pink in there. They say it's not just the chicken either. Evie says earlier this week she bought a bag of nachos. I was eating the chips and then I look in the bag and there's like this fried little black thing in there. Don't know what it was. It was really gross. Like I just stopped eating after that. Another student taking this picture of an orange. The orange was cut into and it was moldy and black and Gross. It was horrible. Chloe tells me when she had issues with her food before, she brought it to the lunch worker's attention. She completely turned me down. She just said that it wasn't her business. I reached out to the school district. A spokeswoman tells me we serve about 100,000 meals each day. Like any large establishment serving food, anomalies can and do occur. Food Services says the item in the nacho chips appears to be something that entered the packaging in the manufacturing process. As for the orange, quote, Oftentimes, this internal decay is not noticeable from the outside. Neither address the photos of the chicken. Some kids, like, that's their only meal. So when they come to school and they get that, it's just kind now of... The school district says they also always buy top quality products. Meanwhile, Evie's mom tells me she'll be visiting the school cafeteria and the kitchen within the next few days to see food prep for herself. For now, reporting live in South Fort Myers, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner.